Hey guys, so welcome to another video. I thought I would do a collective beauty haul. I have all the stuff to the side of me and I've been wanting to film this for like a week, but either I've been tired or that's pretty much it. I have been so tired since school started. Um, comment down below if you can relate and if you can hear any background noise, I'm watching a Shane Dawson video. Of course, what else do I watch? So, beauty haul. This stuff has been collecting for a while. Like, I like gathered everything from the beginning of June to now. So I'm just gonna dig right into it and I'll start off with, I have like a pile of like little products. So I'll show you those. So I have some lip products. I have these three lip products. Two of these are MAC lip glasses. Uh, my aunt gave these to me, my, to my sister and I. She gave us one each, and my sister just gave me the one she got. So the quarterly one, this one, is short and sn short and snappy. And then pink one is in raring to go. And just like people say, these do smell like vanilla. They are pretty sticky. You can see the, like that line. So yeah, I haven't actually worn those on my lips yet. I've swatched them, but this this smells so good. This is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Obsession, and I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and so I got one in this really nice berry purple color, and even though I have a lot of liquid lipsticks and lip products in general, um, I don't have a color like this, which I know a lot of people say, but honestly, I don't have a color like this. If I, if I look tired, it's because I am, but since I have the house to myself, I'm like, I might as well film this, so that's the applicator. I'll swatch this. It's just a nice berry purple, and this smells so good it smells like vimto if you guys know that drink it smells exactly like that so i got that and then i got a few eyeliners i got two nyx ones i got a gold one in i don't know the name because the sticker's covering up but number 107 and then this is one of their crystal liners the this, like silvery one in crystal gunmetal so it's gunmetal gray a bright gold one and I've done a few looks with these I got a white liquid liner just because I wanted to try some white liquid liner looks and since I'm not going to be using it as often as like my black one I didn't want to spend too much money on one so ruby kisses was like two bucks it's just a white one and then I ran out of black eyeliner so I just got this LA Colors Grafix eyeliner and just black so yeah got that and then I was running out of my eyebrow pencil and I just recently ran out of it. So I got another one. This is the L'Oreal Brow Styles Definer Pencil in Dark Brunette. Yeah. So you get the pencil on one side. It's really thin. And the spoolie on the other. It's kind of like the Anastasia one. But a lot cheap. It's like half the price. And then another L'Oreal product. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in Berry Black and Waterproof. And it's very reminiscent of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras. So if you guys like that mascara or want to try it, check out this one. It's quite similar. And then um, I wanted to try like a nude eyeshadow base. I, use a, I used a white one from NYX, but I wanted to try like a nude color one. And this is the LA Girl Pro Primer in probably nude yeah nude so it's just a stick primer so I use that before I use my eyeshadows and then some base products let me get everything from over here I got the NYX honey do me up primer so it's kind of like that first Solly one but cheaper and it just has like gold flakes in it it's quite like kind of sticky but that helps your makeup stay on and I don't mind the tackiness some people do though so if you don't like stickiness on your face I wouldn't recommend this but yeah um I needed another makeup spray and this stuff is amazing you can find this at like beauty supply store I don't know if your drugstore has it but I got it at a beauty supply store it's the GOV matte finish makeup spray no it looks like this it has a weird smell but it goes away so it doesn't really matter so it looks like that and then I got two LA Girl Pro Coverage products. This is the foundation in warm caramel. 
if you guys like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, I love that foundation, I have it, um, check this one out because it's similar and it's of course cheaper. And then the powder I got in Toffee, so you get the powder, you get the sponge in the mirror, but I don't use the sponge because I think makeup sponges are unsanitary. I like the ones for the powder. If you use a free foundation, then go right ahead like the little like this one. Like if you use that, that I find that okay. I don't know why. <laughs> but um I got I wanted a yellow powder, so this is the NYX banana HD finishing powder. So you can use this under your eyes or like under your contour. Wherever you want. So it looks like that I got this at Ulta where I get most of my makeup. And then some highlights. So I got these two Wet Wild highlights. These have been out for a while, but I can never find them. And I finally found them. I got both of the older shades. I know there's like two new shades, but um, they're not really colors I want, and they didn't have them anyway. So this one's in Precious Petals, and this one's in Crown of My Canopy. And I'm so excited to have these. I might do a review on them because they are really good. I've been wearing them quite a bit when I do feel like putting on a lot of makeup in the morning that those are the highlights I wear and then this one um my sister got this in her recent ipsy bag but she didn't want it so she just gave it to me I this is more of a natural highlight I'll swatch it it's more of a natural highlight but if you want a natural highlight go for the essence be my highlight one rather than this it's a bit softer and even though it's natural it's a bit more pigment um, I wouldn't spend my money on this, but I'll try it out. If I don't like it, then I'll just get rid of it. I got a candle. This isn't really, like, makeup related, but it's kind of beauty. Um, some of the stuff, since I have been collecting this for a while, this is from the semi-annual sale, so that was a while ago, back in June, from Bath Body Works, and this is Par Paris Cafe, so it just smells like straight coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I do like the smell of it when it's in, like, candles and stuff. Uh, I'm dropping everything. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> so, along with the two lip glasses my aunt gave us, gave me, or whatever, um, she gave me a Bath Body Works set, so Twilight War Woods body wash and lotion. It just smells like a um, musky, kind of. I'm out of breath. I need to breathe. Okay, so, um, I got this, oh gosh, did I get my hair? I thought the lipstick got in my hair. I got the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette from BH Cosmetics. So she had, I think she got rid of the first one because she brought out this one. I'm not sure. Either that or they have both Carly Bible palettes. I got this from Ulta when it first came out in store. So it looks like that. So you get eyeshadows and a bunch of highlights. And I really like this palette. If you can find this palette, I wouldn't recommend it if you have the first one. If you have the first one, you kind of don't need it. I don't have the first one, but if you don't have the first one and you've been wanting the first one, get this one. It is more expensive, but you get a lot of stuff in here. Speaking of YouTuber palettes, today, the day I'm filming this and uploading this, um, it was the day of the restock for the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe, and I've been wanting that since like last month, well like before, but the last time I restocked in July, I couldn't get it because I was in Canada, and today, finally got it. I was on top of that. And I ordered it. It was awesome. So I might do an unboxing on that when I get it. Okay, another palette. I'll get out, get these two palettes out of the way. My sister didn't want this highlight card contour palette. She had. She used to have a boxy charm, and this came in it, and she didn't want it because she already has a contour palette. So she gave me this one. And this is from IBMY. Oh wait, no, IBY Beauty. So you get three contour shades, three highlight shades. And then another thing she got in her box charm was this concealer palette from Measurable Difference. So you get a lot of different shades, and I've been mainly using the orange shade, but I kind of stopped using concealer. I go through phases. Right now I'm in a no concealer phase, but when I was in a concealer phase for color correcting under my eyes, I, uh, I used the uh, pecan shade. Okay, some face masks. My friend, um... Hey Rebecca, if you're watching this, went to Korea and she brought me back um, like a little goodie bag of stuff and in there was three face masks. So this one's a green tea one, this one the lemon one, and this one's an 
aloe mask. So I'm really excited to use these. Koreans really do know their skincare, so I am excited to use these. These are all she masks. Yeah. So I'm gonna look crazy with them on. <laughs> and then I'm almost <laughs> I'll be right back. And I'm back. I dropped my mini nail polishes. So I had some one wild coupons. I had some on these one wild one step wonder gels. If you can hear that Shane Dawson video, enjoy it. So I use it was a dollar off a bottle, so I had two of those. So I got this light pinkish one, beachy pink one for Peach for the Stars. And then I got this pink one in Missy and Pink. So it looks like that. And then I got 50 cents off a wet model product, and I used them. I had two, I used them on these. So they were um, very inexpensive. So this one I actually did need. I was running out of my glitter nail polish. Is like getting thick so hard to apply so it's in kaleidoscope and these are the wild shines so it's just like a silver glitter and then i've been wanting to get this i'm actually wearing it right now oh i'm actually wearing these two right now so it's a pink glitter and sparked pink glitter like that i've been wanting this for a while i just never got it and i'm like got the coupons might as well get it and it's really pretty over the pink nail polish and then um my sister and I needed a red, um, I got rid of our other red because it was getting old. And it's called I Read a Good Book, and this is the mega last one. So, got those. And then last two things. Again, during the semi-annual sale, Dark Kiss is one of my favorite scents. I'm so mad that they got rid of it. Um, I don't know why they got rid of it. But they sadly did, and it's always at the semi-annual sale, and that's one of the things I always pick up. Speaking of that, I did pick up two bottles of the lotion. This is my, actually my second bottle. So I got that too. I thought I would show you that. And this is the one I got in the 2015 winter one. It's like halfway done. And since I'm scared to use it up, I got another bottle just as a backup. So yeah, I haven't used it yet, obviously, since I'm using that one. And along with those, me and my sister got a body wash and some like wall scent things and some hand soap. But they're in the bathroom. And then my sister's boyfriend, for like Christmas or her birthday, I think her birthday, he got her like a bunch of Bath and Body Works scents. And this is the one she didn't want. Well, she wasn't sure if she wanted it. And she said I could have it. And I love this scent. It's Forever Red. It smells like, no, it smells kind of like a fancier version of Thousand Wishes, which Dark Kiss is my favorite discontinued scent. Thousand Wishes is my favorite permanent scent. They better not rid of it. get rid of that. They've gotten rid of like too many good scents. Yeah, it smells like that. And it's super pretty. Again, these are both fine favorites. Mists from Bath Body Works. And that, I'm out of breath. I'm very healthy, you guys. So that is everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below saying what kind of things you bought recently and if you like them. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hope you have a great day. Bye.